Hey everyone, this is Sai here. Welcome to my channel. For this video, we're going to be doing a Cardi B inspired nail design. This was requested by a subscriber. I'll leave it somewhere here for you guys. Um, so Cardi B had this gorgeous set which was a gold with chains. Now, I don't have the actual chains that the nail artist used, which was Marie Marie Nails, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave the link, all of the links in the description box. You guys already know. But it was for her Met Gala 2022. It was a rose gold. Am I keep saying rose gold? It was a gold themed dress. Nails was gold. It was just gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to recreate it. Like I said, I don't have the exact chain that she used, but it's gonna look pretty close and pretty similar to the nails so yeah we're just gonna jump right in we're gonna get started so if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell make sure it's to all so you get notified on when i upload and if you've enjoyed this video please like it it does help my i'm not gonna say viewer it just helps the algorithm and push my videos out there so yeah y'all already know the deal yeah we're gonna get started <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is what they are currently looking like. My nails are in pretty bad shape. Um, yeah, I've been picking on them, and I, I'm not going to say, like, I'm a nail biter, but, like, my cuticles, I jack up my cuticles, like, all the time. Um, and don't mind this. This was my freaking cat. Uh, we're going to go in with this cuticle pusher. I'm just going to go in really fast and just push back my cuticle if you hear any kind of noise in the background i apologize i have my windows open it's pretty nice outside um so you're gonna hear a lot of stuff in the background i live in the bronx so you yeah, already know i am going in with my snake head drill bit as usual i'm just going around the cuticle i'm not gonna go too deep into um nail prep because you guys know i do take off my nails right after I do use a peel off base coat, but if you was doing your normal nails as usual or anybody else's nails, this is exactly what you would want to do. You would want to clean up your nail plates, um, your cuticle area, making sure there's no oils and all that good stuff so you have the best adhesion so you won't get any kind of lifting and stuff. Um, so I did that at around 6,000, 7,000 RPM. Going in next with my ball cuticle bit. This I'm going to go around the actual cuticle section um, and just remove any kind of dead skin. This again, right now I'm at 7,000 RPM. I am taking my 180 sanding band. I am at 5,000 RPM. And once again, I'm just going over the nail plate. And once again, just removing the shine, um, cleaning it up. So, like I said, I could get the best adhesion and I won't get any kind of lifting. I'm actually going to go in and use my peel off base coat right now. If this is something that you are going to leave on your nails, you obviously would skip this step. This is just for me because like I stated before, I do remove these after. And this just allows me to literally just pop it off. Like I could just rip it off. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so this is what they look like dry, um, but you can see it's like a little bit shiny, but not too shiny. So for the um, nails itself, I'm going to go in with my extra long stiletto tips. The tips she had on were stiletto, so yeah, we're going to go in with that. I've already pre-measured. What is happening? Why are you blurry? Oh, there we go. I've already pre-measured my nails, making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. Going in with my rubber base gel to adhere my tips. Um, because I don't like glue, I don't like using regular air dry glue. Oh, I have like a little fuzz on my hands. So I just take a small amount, I line it up to my nail, and then, and then I cure it. And a jet, few seconds, stuck on. We're ready to move on to the next nail.
So I'm going in again with my um, sanding band and I'm just going to go around that tip and then down the body. Um, I am at 15,000 RPM and this is me just blending the tip into the natural nail plate and then scuffing over the surface of the tip so the gel has something to stick to um, and you won't get any kind of separation of your tip and the gel. Okay, so you would normally go in with your dehydrator to dehydrate your nail plates um, and preparing it for your base gel. Um, with the base gel, you will add a small amount of rub it into the surface of your nail plate and then you will do a full cure for 60 seconds. But I'm skipping all this because I do have a peel off base coat and I am just gonna pop it off right after this video. So we're gonna go in with this brown orchid. Once again, this is a hard gel set, so this is non-soak off. What is soak off is the base gel. So if you wanted to do two layers of this, you could definitely go ahead and use this because you can um, soak this portion off. Uh, but I'm going to go in with the brown orchid. That's what this looks like. I'm using my number six gel brush, and I am going to take a small amount, add a thin layer. This is my uh, slip layer, I like to call it, for when I take a larger amount, I could float that on top and it's going to basically be a guide for where I want the gel to go. When I pick it up, I pick it up like this and I kind of do like a swirly motion so I get a good amount on my brush, like so. I kind of, you could dab it on or like do a little swirl to take it off and then you just maneuver it up in those corners now whatever color you choose to do this with it doesn't matter because we're gonna cover it with a metallic um, gold I just wanted to do a darker color so the gold could kind of pop more but we're gonna do this we're going to cure it for um, at least 30 seconds and then move on to the next nail Recuerdos míos de esa noche Cuando yo te tuve ahí aquí Solo pa' mí Pa' mí, pa' mí Recuerdo cuando te escapabas Y tu novio a ti te llamaba Y tú me lo mamabas Y te lo tuve que repetir Solo pa' mí looking like y'all 
first of all i love this color and then just stiletto in general it just fits me so well <laughs> um so we're gonna go in we're going to cleanse the nails once again just removing the sticky layer the sticky layer guys is uncured gel um so yeah we're just removing the sticky layer which is also called the inhibition layer so I'm going to go in with a 100-100 grit nail file. This is from Not Polish. Um, and I'm just going to file the side walls really quick. I don't need to do too much because they're pretty pointy. And my application was kind of on point today. Um, I'm just really making sure I have that nice pointed tip. So from there, I'm going to go in. I am going to just hand file these with a 100 with the 180 nail file um now since a hard gel is super soft i'm not gonna say well yeah it's really easy to file it's not hard like acrylic for some reason i feel like it takes a long time to file and shape it's a little harder to file down almost anyway i'm just gonna file these really fast just to perfect the shape making sure it's even no lumps and bumps and just trying to perfect that stiletto look. Okay, so this is what they are looking like. I'm gonna go in and I did cleanse it again with my nail cleanser. Um, right now I'm just gonna go in, I'm going to use my shiny no wipe top coat cause we're gonna go in with some chrome powder. I'm gonna make sure I don't, like it's extremely smooth, especially when dealing with chrome powder, you wanna make sure that the surface of your nail is extremely smooth you try your best to perfect that shape because any kind of lumps that you have on the nail is definitely going to come out with the chrome powder so that's the only thing that i don't really like about chrome well i love chrome powder um yeah it's just tricky you want to make sure you have a really smooth surface even with your top coat but when i do this i'm gonna cure that for a full 60 seconds so for the metallic chrome powder um obviously we gotta go with gold so this one i numbered it number eight i ended up buying a whole i think it was like 16 chrome powders chrome mirror powders i think it's called um on amazon and i ended up just numbering it because it was easier for me to find what i want like that the only thing i don't like about this is that it's like a powder consistency and it's just super fine and it just goes like goes everywhere um so i'm just gonna go straight in with my middle finger i'm gonna pick some up and then i'm just gonna start rubbing it oh my god look at that all over just like that look at how nice i'm so happy <laughs> so yeah that is it we're gonna do that to all of them wow Recuerdos míos de esa noche Cuando yo te tuve ahí aquí Solo pa' mí Pa' mí, pa' mí Recuerdo cuando te escapabas Y tu novia a ti te llamaba Y tú me lo mamabas Y te lo tuve que repetir Alright, so this is what we are working with I'm gonna go straight in and top coat them With my shiny, once again shiny no white top coat um and then i'm gonna do a full cure for 60 seconds and then i'll be able to clean everything up with like alcohol okay so this is what they look like i'm so happy they're so pretty <laughs> so we're gonna go in with some bling um so i took out my bling it kit which is the crystal side crystal clear and then the a b crystal Bling It Kit that's on the website. Um, and according to the photo, it looks like chain and like maybe like a couple of these different sizes. I don't have the specific chain that she has. Um, so I did go ahead, well, this is the case that I have. 
um so i'm going to take out two types of chain i'm not sure how i want to do this like i said it's going to look a little bit different but it's going to be the same concept of her design you know um so i took out both of these these chains once again are on the website and when it comes to these chain packs these packs like the length of the chain is super long it's like double the size that you would get from those other companies um so we did decide to double the length because i just felt like you guys needed more like why not so i have this chain which looks like a regular necklace chain and then i have this one that I was thinking about, which is more of like a square. It's gonna be so pretty. Um, it's kind of like I don't know what you would call this kind of chain, but I have these two. So I don't know if I should line them up next to each other like this, or I don't know what I want to do. Cause her chain that she used was really bulky and almost like gaudy. I don't have that, so. We gonna make do and we gonna just do what it is. Anyway, so I am gonna cut smaller pieces just to measure out the... Oh my god, that is gonna be so freaking pretty. Just to measure out, I think it's three or four in a row. I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch and then start gluing them down. As usual, I'm gonna go in with my Bling It No Wipe Gel. I am going to fully cover the entire nail when I use this and then add the chain and the bling and all that good stuff. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Ew! Oh. <laughs> Y'all, they came out so good. I am so proud of myself, again, as usual. But yeah, this is this is extra blingy, extra growth, but I love it. Obviously, the chain is different because I didn't have the chain that she used but it's pretty much exactly the same design but yeah i think they came out really good i love stiletto as usual and yeah this is definitely her met gala inspired look but yeah let me know what you guys think of this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up tag cardi b okay we post this and tag her so she can see it <laughs> but yeah that is it for this video of course everything i use is going to be linked in the description box let me know what you guys think of this design subscribe if you are not subscribed and i will see you guys in the next one love ya